In this video, we're going to look at six pieces of equipment, some of which I have purchased and some of which has been sent to me, useful for both video makers and photographers. So please enjoy this very quick look at six things that might be useful to you. I think all six are useful. Plus, please look out for the ever-changing lighting as it was quite a windy day and the clouds just kept flying over me. It's rather humorous or it could make you cry. You decide. Also, I've got a little special thing from Nikon, which I kind of thought was the unicorn because I'd never seen them in the wild. I'd never heard anybody talking about them. Well, I happen to buy something and get one of them, and I'm gonna show you that thing at the end of this episode. G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. Well, bright lights and big city. Right now I'm using my white garage door as a massive reflector. Now it absolutely looks spectacular on camera. We are shooting on the Z6 II with the 50 millimeter 1.2 at 1.6, just for that tiny little bit of extra depth of field. But golly gosh, it's bright, so I'm going to be squinting during this episode. But there's more than one reason I'm going to be squinting. The other reason is this here. This is the Wheelite Ninja 200. And well, it's a beast. It is an absolute beast of a light. I think it could be brighter than the sun. And right now, I'm only at 9%. And here's the lovely Wheelite Ninja 200 portable bicolor light, which can work via Bluetooth with your mobile phone. Now, what's great about this light is it's actually got a really solid metal construction. The thing that I love about it most is the fact that it can run off batteries. Now, I love the fact that we can now get this sort of lighting out in the field. It's super powerful. This light has changeable color temperature from 2800 Kelvins to 8500 Kelvins, which is fantastic. Plus, it has from 9% all the way to 100% control of brightness. It has a high CRI of over 95 and at maximum brightness it is 70,400 lux at 0.5 of a meter. So that is why it looks so bright on my face. It has 12 lighting effects and of course it runs off dual power, two batteries, so you can just keep going without it stopping and it can simulate daylight. So look, this sort of light is super cheap. If you jump on the Viltrox store, for example, it's 259 US dollars with the battery adapter. Next, I wanted to talk about this, the gorgeous Insta 360 1R with the one inch mod. Now I've made my first video with it. I made a couple of mistakes. I didn't plug in the audio mod correctly, so I didn't actually get sound from the Rode mics, I got sound from the internal mic, I think. And I do think there is more tweaking of the settings I can do to make it work better in low light. Love this camera, more coming very soon. Next, this cute little thing that's been sent to me. This is the ZG or the ZG Cine. Uh, it depends which country you're from as to how you say it. And you might go, gee, what's that? Well, this is actually something that I think is really useful if you use the Rode microphone system. And that is the Rode, all of the three microphones for the two transmitter system, all sitting in this beautiful case. But this is not just a case, this is more than a case. It's actually a charging case. So look, it's a great idea. It's also a battery, so you can actually charge things off this case. And my only comment about it would be, besides the fact that it looks really cool, it's got a little battery indicator light and you can charge off it and you can get quite a number of charges. The exact amount is written here, is the finish. I'd like the finish to be a different finish and I definitely don't think I could drop this on anything hard. I think it would definitely break. So that would be my only feedback with something like this. Otherwise, I think if you wanna make sure your microphones are always charged up, this is a super little useful thing that you can have in your bag. Of course, it adds extra weight, but it does ensure the things are charged. And that can be a problem sometimes that you get out to shoot and you're not all charged up. There goes the sun again, unbelievable. <laughs> all right, we've got the light back. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is this crazy little thing here. And what this is, is a little mirror, which allows you to 
see your screen. You stick this in the hot shoe on top of the camera and allows you to see your screen. So it's not like a monitor, but it's like a monitor. How well does it work? Well, I would give it a good solid six and a half out of 10, maybe a five and a half. It does the trick, but I do find it a bit hard to see. But the reality is I think it was $15, 15 US dollars. So it's not a big investment. It's made of plastic. One little hard knock and it's gone. The bottom line is if you're someone who wants to be able to see yourself, see your screen, this is a reasonably good workaround for cameras that don't have flippy forward screens. There's lots of Sony's and lots of Nikon cameras that don't have flippy forward screens. Give this a go. This particular one is made by Andoa, founded on Amazon. Well, there we go. I'm going to light myself due to the lack of sun. Next, let's talk about this little beastie here. Now, this is the Freewell Magnetic ND filter kit. It's in a lovely little box. I love the way this looks. We've got the sun back. I'm going to put this light down. That's good. So the Freewell kit, it's, it's a good looking kit. I think this is probably fake leather, but it still looks nice. I'll make a video about this and actually show it in use because that's how I like to do things. But it's a good quality kit. This is the mounting bracket and a lens cap that goes with it. And then we have various filters this here for example is the two to five stop neutral density awesome and then we have the six to nine and then we have a clarity filter we will do a whole episode about this finally i wanted to talk about this has anyone ever seen one of these in the flesh i have never seen an actual nikon branded xqd card i'd seen them i'd seen them online i'd seen them talked about but I've never seen them for sale anywhere. I've never actually seen one. I think we can see a manufacturing date here, which is February 2020. <laughs> Just before the world fell apart. Well, shooting outside on a cloudy day proved yet again to be a terrible idea. Maybe we'll get the sun back, who knows? But in the meantime, there it is. There is the Nikon XQD. I thought these things were unicorns. I thought that sure, Nikon sort of wanted to do it, but they never actually did it. So that's it for real. And if we look on the back, we can see that this actual unit is made in Japan. So there you go. That feels like a bit of a special artifact to me. It was a total surprise getting it. I bought something else and this was just a freebie in the box. Didn't even know it was coming. So why are Nikon giving away free XQD cards? Well, as we would all know, XQD has now been superseded by CF Express. It's exactly the same size, it's got the same connectors. Essentially, it looks the same on the exterior, but the interior is different. It is a much faster protocol, and ultimately, it can go to much larger sizes. And we have seen CF Express in two terabytes, and I believe we might even see four in the not too distant future. I suspect Nikon had stock at hand, and CFX is the card of choice and so selling them was going to become too difficult, so we may as well give them away and make people happy. So thanks, Nikon. I'm happy. There you have it. All right, everybody. Well, absolutely fantastic to see you all as usual. So good to have you here. If this is your first time here, I would love to see you again. So please do subscribe. Please share and so like. Please share and like. There's a kid yelling behind me. It's so good for the video the liking that is maybe the yelling as well please don't forget channel memberships and hats and the website and everything like we said a few months ago if you'd like to get your name in every copy of the calendar please make your order by sunday the 5th of september Whew, this has been a very difficult episode to shoot i'm over these clouds i'll see you later bye this is why people shoot in studios but I've got to keep mixing it up for myself. It's important for my state of mind. See ya, my arm's about to break. Oh, God. Mm.